I am an instructor here at the Academy of Real Estate Art Boston. Um, I'm going to do an example of how I typically will tone a canvas for um, kind of anything. It's, a, uh, it's going to be a general burnt umber wash. Burnt umber dries very quickly. Um, so our supplies that we're going to be using today are um, Gamsol, which is odorless mineral spirits. Um, I'm using Michael Harding's Burnt Umber. I like this brand because it actually um, is a nice color for burnt umber, but it's also very fast drying. Um, so when we're doing uh, indirect painting, we want to make sure that our um, initial layers dry very quickly because we need to adhere to fat over lean. So this is ideal or our leanest layer possible. Um, so my canvas is a stretch canvas. Um, I don't typically work on a white canvas. I prefer to work on a tone canvas. It helps to keep things feeling unified, and it also helps to gauge your perception of the initial colors uh, of paint you're putting down. So um, sometimes I'll work on white if I want some extremely vibrant colors, but for the most part, I want to tone a canvas first. So the first thing I like to do is just get a paper towel. I'm wearing gloves because this can get quite messy. Um, so I'm using the mineral spirits. I'm just getting the paper towel um, kind of wet with the mineral spirits. And um, what I'm doing is almost like cleaning my canvas. So uh, if you look in the kind of reflection, you can see that it's a little damp with this. I'm not getting the sopping, sopping wet. Um, it will start to dry a little bit, which is okay. I can always add more. I don't want this to be too watery. So now that I have this quote unquote cleaned, um, I'm actually going to use this kind of softer bristle brush um, and use just pure paint for now. I want to see how this acts. Um, so this to me is actually pretty good. It might look dark for now, but just remember we can always come back in and lighten. So I'm using the fact that the mineral spirits is down to uh, loosen up the paint. I don't want to add too much uh, because then it can get gross and too watery and soupy. We want to avoid that. So what I could do is actually leave this tone, this brushy. If, I, if I'm doing a portrait of, or maybe just something really interesting or ha that has a lot of texture, I might actually leave some of this um, brushwork or texture in this. Um, I'm not going to for what I'm currently doing, uh, but I also wanted to just show you that you could leave this really interesting um, brushwork and texture on here. Um, but the mineral spirits that's down here is actually uh, just a nice um, way to loosen up the paint without adding too much additional solvent. Uh, with, that, with too much solvent, we can, we can start to break down our paint too much. So I just want to finish this up. So here we have kind of an interesting, I like to cover all the white. So here we have a nice, interesting, you know, that would be an interesting background for something or uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe it would just be effective if I was doing a lot of uh, dark fur or, I don't know, who knows. So that's not bad. Now I'm thinking I might want to leave it like that, but I'll worry about the sides later, but for now, I'm just going to take um, a clean paper towel, not the one that I uh, used to clean off the canvas with the mineral spirits. I'm taking a clean dry rag and then I'm just going to kind of do circles to even out the texture. Now this doesn't have to be totally perfectly flat. Um, I just want to have a unifying value and color underneath all of this. Now if I feel like this is too dark I can take and I can fold this paper towel over and get a clean side to it and um, go over this again and it will lighten it. So for example, if I kind of come back to a clean side and go into it, it's going to lighten it a little bit more. So you can continue to work this until you feel like uh, it's the value or tone that you're looking for. Again, these little swishes of the paper towel really don't bother me too much. Uh, I like to use paper towel that doesn't leave a lot of lint because that's going to get all kind of weird and furry and gross in here. So um, after I'm done with this, 
I will likely take, um, this is going to be in a floater canvas or a floater frame. So I do want to consider the edges. So this is where I might uh, just loosen up the paint by itself. Um, that's a little too much. And just make sure that the edges are considered because in a floater frame, you do notice uh, the edges of a canvas. So I'll go around and do that around the whole thing. Maybe also use the paper towel to get it a little bit more smooth. Um, so that's kind of considered like staining a canvas. That's one method of toning a canvas. So um, I hope you enjoyed this and hopefully we'll be producing a lot more videos that are useful to all of you. Thanks.